So I built a computer. Okay, that's funny. I ordered all the components through Newegg. It cost me $2,300. That includes 64 gigs of memory, fresh direct, AMD Resident 9 CPU, SSDs, two M2 SSD drives, 10, 5,500 watts of power, X570 Plus mob, Air Studio speakers, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super, Fractal Meshify C case, and an Acer ET2 4K monitor. So why these parts? Creative Lab speakers are mid-range cheap and give great audio. The X570 has Wi-Fi, supports dual GPUs, and has a decent sound card. Windows 10, because uh, Windows 10. Two 64 gigabytes of DDR4 rip jaws is enough to power Premiere and After Effects at the same time. A 500 gigabyte M2 drive for all the programs and a two terabyte M2 for all the footage guarantees that there will be no choking. The NVIDIA GeForce eight gigabyte GPU will help with any ray tracing or graphic processing. The Fractal Meshify case is cheap, good, and quiet. And the Res 9 is 3.8 gigahertz of 12 core processing power that can be overclocked and will chew through any footage, 8K or more. 550 watts of power is more than enough to run this rig. The additional fan keeps it cool. And the Acer 4K monitor is cheap and still bigger than my Mac Retina display. All right, it's time to build. It's been 20 years, but the build was easy and straightforward. And even with two rusty nails in me, it only took one hour. My drink was holding the camera. <sighs> Let's see if it works. I'm happy to report the sucker turned right on and lit up beautifully. I did have an issue installing Windows because of the onboard Wi-Fi of the mob, but we'll link to the solution below. Other than that, I loaded up Adobe Suite and was ready to roll. All right, here's the breakdown. I want to edit video and I want to use After Effects. In fact, I want the whole Adobe suite to work at like maximum potential. I want it as fast as possible. I don't want any stuttering. I don't want any render time. I want the juiciest, beefiest, best there is, period. That being said, there is a million and one ways for you to configure a computer between the CPU, the GPU, the memory, the storage space, how you format the drives, the actual case you use, all this crap is like an infinite combination of possibilities. It took me a week of solid research, going back and forth, talking to editors, reading papers, all this crap, to find out exactly what I needed. This is the answer. There it is. Your CPU is important. This is what's gonna chew through the footage. Premiere, for the most part, does use the CPU over the GPU, so this is an important step. Now, there are faster processors. There are processors with more threads. They don't matter. The next processor up from this is about $300 more, and you only get about 1.7% performance increase. That's not worth the money. Nothing will stop this processor. The graphic card. The NVIDIA cards are the ones that work best with Adobe products. It's just how they're structured. The graphic card's not super important for Premiere, but it is super important for After Effects. And if you do any kind of titling or 3D or ray tracing or whatever, it's gonna slow down if you don't have a good graphic card. This guy, this GPU, is going to chew through everything. You just need one. This is the one. Motherboards, mother of God. Why is it so hard to find an answer of like, what's a good motherboard? This, however, is the answer. This is the answer. This is the motherboard you want. It's got Wi-Fi, it's got a decent sound board. It'll take my GPU, it'll take my processor. It's got USB 3, it's got all the bells and whistles, and it fits inside of a case. This guy is what you want. Power, you gotta run the damn thing, right? I come well in under 550, okay? This is much more than you need. If you overclock your processor, you're gonna probably need more power. You basically want something that's gonna hit around 65, 70%. At least that's what I've read. Does it matter? No. Does it turn on? Yes, that's all that matters. Memory. Memory's in the computer, I can't show you. Memory. How much memory do you need? How much RAM do you need? I need 64 gigs of RAM, period. I can run After Effects and Premiere at the same time and it'll never choke on RAM. You could get 128, but what's the point? You could have four houses. You're only gonna live in one. Now the case, who knew the case was such a friggin' issue? 
I just wanted a case that, first of all, fit everything. I wanted front end support, so I didn't have to go in the back of the damn computer every time. And I didn't want it like too goofy and looking like a carnival with LED lights everywhere. If it came in beige, I would buy beige, all right? The last time I built a computer was literally 1998. The Fractal is kind of the jam. It's cheap, it still looks sick, it's got plenty of IO, it fits everything. And the best part about it, it's dead quiet. That's all I really cared about. What's really cool about it is that you can throw so many drives in there. So for me, the answer was simple. First of all, it's a 500 gig M2 solid state drive. This is gonna hold just the programs. The other one is a two terabyte M2 solid state drive. This thing is a rocket ship. All that 8K red footage, that's where that's gonna sit. I'm gonna chomp through it like butter. Then I got two four terabyte drives, 7,200 RPMs. They're physical drives, but they're both striped. So they're gonna work together kind of in a raid and they're gonna be super fast as well. Then I got three 500 gigabyte solid state drives on the back. How many drives is that? Not too many. This is maximum. This is the, the limits of video editing. I am future proof because I doubt anyone's gonna say, you know what we need? We need 16K video. We do not need 16K video. So how's it work? It's a good question, I didn't check yet. But really, what does this all matter? Well, the numbers don't. So let's show you what's going on here. This is an iMac, okay? I'm getting 12 frames a second with 10-bit RGB files, okay? And that's off a solid state drive. Look at this. Oh, I'm sorry, 112 frames a second. Same friggin' stats. That is the power of this little jam. This is it, this is all we got. Here's the old girl, this is the new jam. And there's the rig down there, boop. So that's it, I got another little monitor on this side. Got my little mic all set up and we're good to go. Let me just show you something, okay? You can scrub through this like butter. If I tried to do this on an iMac, it would be frozen and then it would crash and then it probably would catch on fire. This, no problem. I'll show you something else. This is 360 footage. To me, 360 footage is the hardest thing for a computer to decode. First of all, it's H.264 compressed, and then it's like got all this crazy parallax that you have to compute. This plays back, no problem. What's more, you can put a GoPro reframe on it, and it plays back, no problem. This to me is almost like pornography. It's too sexual, what's happening right now. I've been editing for 20 years. I love it. I also hate it. This takes all the hate away, okay? All the time it would take for me to start and stop, to render and all that is gone. I have literally given myself back 20 years of life. That's the end of the story, people. This is the rig. This is the be all end all. I'm telling you, I have no association with any of these companies. I built it, I'm playing it back, and I'm telling you it is perfect. The end, I hope this helps you, goodbye.